you can take our SVGs and print them, multiple of them for sublimation. I'm going to use Canva because it makes it super easy to manipulate and change anything that I want to do. So I just started by creating a design and I changed the dimensions to inches right here. And I put 13 by 19 because I have the 13 by 19 printer. If you have just a regular 8.5 by 11, you can do that. I use that one a lot. Um, but I'm going to do 13 by 19 just so I know that I can make sure I print all of these exactly how I want them. So I'm going to create a new design. I'm also going to label this um, baby sublimation because I am doing a bunch of little blanks. So I am going to go to uploads and I'm going to upload media. And I've already downloaded all the ones that I want from the website. So right now I'm actually doing all of the animals and imagination characters from the website. And the bundles work really good for this. So I really want this Lost Boys one. I'm just going to show you with a couple. And then I'm going to go ahead and finish this without recording all of it. But I just wanted to get this on the interwebs. Okay, so when you import an SVG... Um, most of the time it comes in and you can manipulate the colors. Why is it not doing it? Well, I like the, I like the colors on this one. So let me see if I upload just a more basic one. If the colors, let's see, I think Skater Mickey has individual ones. So let me just open mini and see what happens if I do that. So I'm going to put, maybe it takes it, maybe it's until it fully loads too. Because I can't. I can crop this one, but I can't change the colors. So um, if you like our bundles, I am going to be releasing them in individuals pretty soon. So you should be able to manipulate the colors. One thing you can't do in Canva is pattern fill. So I don't necessarily like to make my sublimation in here, um, but I do like to play with sublimation and how to print it. So um, now that you can see that this one's more simple, it's actually allowing me to change the colors. So if I wanted to sublimate this in pink, then I would change it to pink. Um, once these are individuals, it should register as like four different reds. And maybe there's just a limit on like how many colors can be in an SVG. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click it and crop it down to the one that I actually want. Because I just want to do the Lost Boys Club. And I'll show you how to get rid of this guy right here. I think I can do it. So I'm going to go to Edit Image. Um, okay, so another thing I can't do is background remove, but that's okay because I can put like a, a circle or something over that in white. But if I wanted a couple of those, I could copy and paste by Command C, Command V, and double click, and I can move this around so I can also get the never grow up. Um, so the thing is, when you want, when you click once, you just scale, but when you click twice, you go into crop mode. So I'm going to crop that. So then I can have this. Um, so this would be my whole page. And I'm going to just continue to upload as many SVGs as I want. Um, let's just, I want to show you what a multiple layer SVG looks like when you upload it. Let's see if I have one. I think this one's two layers, even though it's all black. Let's hope. So I can show you. So I'm going to pull this one in. No, he's one layer. But again, I can change his color. And then when I print him, it can come out in different colors depending on what I'm putting him on. Um, again, also black is great because sublimation black is really cool. Let's go back to downloads. I really just want to show you guys one. Okay, here we go. Shark bait hoo ha ha. It's definitely one I wanted. And it's going to be orange and black. And when I put him in here, there we go. So now he comes in in layers and I can change this. Say I want to make him dory colors or whatever colors I want, I can change the colors when I print them. Now again, you can't pattern fill, which is one of the things I love about sublimation. So again, I would probably create my sublimation um, outside of Canva and then just do this to manipulate. You can do this in lots of programs, but I just really like Canva and then I can save it. And if I want to come in here and print more, I can change up the colors really quickly. So I just really, really like Canva. If you guys want more Canva, um, tutorials or anything like that just let me know and I will gladly make those for you love you guys bye